Is that one of the really sad things? An electrical storm out in Flagstaff, Arizona has denied the picture of this landing to the people out at the geophysical laboratory, out there, geological laboratory, who drew up the maps for the whole trip, worked and slaved on this thing for years, and now they're not getting the television picture because of an electrical storm. Similarly, uh, there's been an electrical storm in Falls Church, Virginia, and College Park, Maryland, uh, outside of Washington. They're not getting the picture either. Electricity interrupted. There is the landing track. Very interesting to note that when I uh, kick my foot, they always uh, uh, no atmosphere here in this cavity. These they seem to leave, and uh, most of them have about the same angle of departure and velocity. This is where I stand, the large portion of them will. got about another hour and 20 minutes, five minutes of uh, extra vehicular activity before the hatches should be closed. That probably means the, about uh, uh, an hour more the on the surface, my boots a little less than that perhaps. Have, uh, completely disappeared now into this Can you uh, speak a little more closely into your microphone over? 
sample, uh, rock sample. Take the scoop and uh, scoop up some of the rocks, put them in a bag that then be transferred into the receiving box. To preserve the vacuum until opened on the surface here. Roger, you should have bounding around on the moon, you have to realize they're in one-sixth gravity. Actually, if they wore that full pack and that their weight, well, Neil Armstrong on Earth would weigh 360 pounds. He'd hardly be moving like that. On the moon, he weighs 60 pounds. With the, with the backpack, the whole suit. Now, there's a scoop. You've got a pretty good picture of it there. He's got that kind of a square bucket-like scoop on the end of the extension arm. And he's uh, he drags that across the surface. Crewman averaging uh, between 90 and 100. Flight surgeon reports they're uh, right on the predicted number of the uh, BTU uh, units expended in energy of work. I would and he thinks they're in great shape. I'd say they're lower than predicted. Hey, look around the, uh, the, uh, the contrast in general is uh, uh, about completely by virtue of the shadows.
think the, uh, on the, that's the area that we've picked up. Uh, considerably darker in next year now. for uh, those of you trying to take pictures off your television tube of these men on the moon. A couple of hints from the CBS uh, News Photography Department uh, regarding this matter. Uh, first of all, for those with simple cameras, uh, instamatic type. You can see Neil Armstrong bringing scoop. The ram I'll be taking is about 30 to 40 feet uh, out the front. Just uh, if you're trying to take a picture with a simple camera, that is uh, one that you can't uh, focus or change the lens opening, stand back at least five feet, turn up the brightness of your television set, use Tri-X film, Tri-X film is possible, stand at least five feet away. Buzz is behind the lamb at the minus Z strut. got an adjustable camera, they suggest Tri-X film with a 5-6 lens setting, shutter speed of 1 30th of a second. The landing gear directly opposite the ladder. That's for black and white, of course. Tri-X is black and white. I'll repeat that. F5-6 opening, speed of 1 30th of a second. Daylight uh, color film, they suggest. The lens set at F2-8. Shutter speed of one fifteenth of a second. And to minimize the bluish cast uh, you're likely to get using 81A or skylight filter. You haven't got those, but of course you can rush out and get them now in the middle of the night wherever you are. But if you have them, that's the suggestion of the CBS uh, photographic team. Got a, on the surface about an hour and ten minutes now. Got it between the lens shutter. That might eliminate that dark bar that you're trying to get across the screen because of the scanning of the television picture, which we don't see with the eye, but the uh, camera operating at speed uh, stops that bar and you see it frequently. 